father, like son. Like mother, like daughter. But children take care of their parents in more ways than looks. Let's watch what happens at the clinic. in their parents? kind of a beginning any baby can have. <coughs> Kenny's scared, and that's natural. But it isn't good for him to stay scared. For right now, when he's six years old, Ken is beginning to decide that he's going to stay scared of things all his life. Come here. Come here, boy. The dog ain't gonna bite you. Come here, Kenny. Come here, man. You won't bite you. Stay with me. See that? Good dog. Good dog. See that? Ain't you a good dog, Rex? That's right. That's right. Get up and play with him now. See that? Get off of that couch. It won't be fit for any party. Children of three are not too young to begin learning things like this. More important, it helps them to get the feeling that they can do them. Mother, too, is building self-confidence in her child. doesn't want to hear about school. Will Dorothy care about it? What do you want to show me, Thank you. 
to be ashamed of yourselves, dancing to the devil like that. You better get off this porch. Let's go to your house. Yes, yeah, my mom don't care if we dance. <laughs> about the dancing, Aunt Esther. But I think it's best if you know about what they're doing. Coming to our party Saturday? That boy of mine has got himself into trouble again. Had me down to the jailhouse yesterday. Me are begging the police to let him go. I was ashamed to death. Mrs. Neal, you were notified to appear here today in answer to a complaint of delinquency filed against your son, James. Are you ready? I didn't hear a word about it till the police came by my house. I declare to goodness. But Aunt Esther isn't telling what happened two weeks ago. Don't tell me you couldn't help losing your job, because I know better. It's you and that sassy tongue of yours. Oh, yes, it is. You young and think you can do any old way now, and people will take it from you, getting so smart. Think you're as good as anybody. You're lucky. Yes, I got a good man and children just as good as anybody. <laughs> Still, things like this will happen. No, my time. Ain't you got my dinner done yet? Don't you come here bopping at me. That I had enough worry all day. Who do you think you're talking to that way? I lean over that stuff all day, sweating my guts out, and all I get is blah, blah, blah. Don't you blah. think I got an after dish in kitchen? Clothes need washing. Baby crying every two minutes, and all you want to do is Shut eat, up, eat, I'll eat. bust you in the mouth. Shut up. <laughs> Wonder what he's thinking about. What does this mean to Dorothy? Even Vernon isn't too young to know that something has gone wrong. One stormy homecoming is going to do a great deal of harm, though, if most of the time it's like this. Got my dinner ready yet, honey? Be ready in about 15 minutes. What are you doing, that boy? Speeding? Huh? Why don't you go out on the porch and rest a while? 
Okay. Come on, boy. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Here, let me get the baby out of the way for you. children are all right now. Here they are safe and comfortable and happy. But what happens when you can't be with them? Bad mom! Has Dorothy been prepared for the world beyond Palmer Street? Hey, little girl, come here. Can she meet this kind of temptation? Has she been prepared for this? <laughs> that ain't nothing. My mother told me about that a long time ago. When both father and mother have to work, it's mighty hard to give children the kind of care they need. But Dorothy knows her mother never goes to work without leaving a lunch ready. It's a good way to get her to come straight home after school. But what about the children who have to spend the day with Aunt Esther? child, being hard on the rest, that's something no child can understand. When this goes on week after week, mother has problems with them all. Have your dad after you with a stick of stove wood. Thank you. 
Next is for the party. You better say, Miss Hudson. You better come. All right. My mama told me to. Welcome to the meal. That's what we are. And I took her there. She come to the party? Yes. Might be too rough on her. Too rough for who? Let's see you. You'd better run, boy. I'm going to see if I can stay at home more days. Yeah, we better figure on that. If we can. Mighty good fight. Why don't you wait down here? Trouble strikes. Something comes along and all our plans and dreams go smash. They've had a good start, these children. Dozens of little things, months and years of care and patience and love given them by their parents have made them strong enough for all the problems they've met so far. And they can stand up to this new one if they get the right kind of lead from grown-ups who are near enough to help them. It may take a long time, but he's going to pull through.
that you, baby? Uh -huh. How is he? They say he's going to pull through. Thank God. Years of care and patience and love. Now what can the mother do until the family is together again? How can she guide Kenneth and Randall through their troubles with Aunt Esther? No chance now for her to stay home all day long. mother's encouragement has helped Dorothy do well at school, but mother will have less time for her now. can this mother do? What would you do if you were in her place? 